pulled out on it, she was pulling it back against me. So she can still move it. So I think she's still got nerves there. All right, so you do what's called a figure eight. So start at the top and start on the back of the wing, okay? Okay. And then you just put a little piece right there just to kind of hold it. And then you're literally just making an eight, okay? And so you want to separate the body feathers from the wing feathers. And come through like that. Nope. You don't mess up. See, you film, man. I get all nervous and I can't perform. <laughs> There's one puppy dog out there that is not happy. Yeah. I know you won't bite me. I she likes to somebody. bite. Yeah, she's a biter. Beauty gets in trouble if I get bit. So. Yeah. <laughs> Big time, huh? But you're literally just making eights, you know, figure eights around there. And that's that's just soft. It's not adhesive or anything. Right. And then yeah. I'm gonna put a layer of that same stuff that you guys had on there. Okay. You just you know we call it vet wrap. You can buy it at the dollar store. What do y'all call it? Vet wrap. Okay. It's toe band or self adhesive bandage. That okay. Sort of I was just kind of lucky to have some at home. Yep. So, the reason we have to bandage around the body, too, is with any fracture, you've got to get each the joint on each end stabilized. So, because her break is right here, we got to stabilize this joint and this wrist joint, okay? But we just stabilized, you know, the joint right here, mm -hmm. right, which is the wrist joint, but we didn't do anything. For that one, for the right? elbow, and this bones right here, okay. And so what we do then is we take this, and I'm going to do this wrap first, but then we're going to take this and just secure it to the body like that, okay? Okay. So I'm going to do this body wrap first. This stuff, excuse me, I'm going to finish the wing wrap first. Okay? Yeah, that stuff's got to be more comfortable for her too. Up it's against just a pad her, yeah, it's just a padding layer. Up against her rock. I'll send you nice. some of it. With any of this kind of self, you know, adhesive stuff, it's always a good idea to kind of stretch it out first. Okay. Because it wants to do that. It wants to spring back, right? So if you don't stretch it out a little bit, it can get too tight. Too tight. Become, she can't breathe. It can become constrictive, right? We saw that. that they mentioned, well, they didn't mention the pre-stretching, but they mentioned don't put it too, too tight. tight. So yeah, same concept. This is just a way to help make sure you don't do that. And this just follows the exact same pattern. Are you getting this I figured, line? I figured if you yeah. weren't an Al if you weren't an Auburn fan, you must have been an Alabama fan, so I got you red. <laughs> <laughs> Please be gentle on the billing, okay? It's been, <laughs> it's been a tough year income wise. You know, all we all we do for Alabama fans is dole the needles and she's not getting the shot, so <laughs> you know Well see I'm a horticulturist. Oh, okay. And so Auburn I've spent more time on the Auburn campus than I have any other campus with their School of Horticulture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to kind of tuck my cotton under there because she will start picking at it. You know, she's, of course, she's been quite lethargic, but she's. It's surprised that she hasn't picked more. She really hadn't been too bad about it. But she's been pretty down for the count, too. Yeah. Okay, we've got to kind of set it up just a little bit. We've got to get this other wing in. I'm grabbing it. I know it. Like diagonals, I'll tell you. I usually try to keep them clipped, but I've fallen behind. Mm. Well, you wanted a scarlet macaw, now you're getting one. <laughs> okay. This, you just do one wrap around just to kind of keep it secured right there. It's not tight at all, okay? It's just around that wing. Yeah. Okay. okay. And get that wing. Get that wing in about a normal position. And then we're going to go right around. Okay. Right underneath. So I can't get a shot on the underneath. You're fine. It just goes underneath the other wing. Okay. So I've got her other wing pulled out right yeah. there. I've got yeah. all the feathers separated. Yeah. yeah. And with this, you just do enough wraps. I'm going to pick her wing up just a little bit. Just enough wraps to kind of keep it supported. Obviously not getting too tight because you're going around the chest. 
<laughs> How'd you end up down here? Uh, so I went to school at Auburn. I went and worked for five years in Oklahoma and then came back here for this job. Is so, this your home? Or, um, yeah, I grew up in Birmingham. Oh, okay. So, love the area though. So just like that. She's not going to love it. She's probably going to pick at it and think it's kind of weird, but that's what we need to hold her into. Okay. And this thing's probably going to take four or six weeks, really, to heal up. I mean, it may be solid a little bit sooner than that, but probably not sure for four weeks. Okay. I use this so do the dressings need to be changed? About once a week. Once a week. As okay. long as, unless she pairs it up, picks at it, you know, does okay. something. Is, the, is there a deterrent like that birds don't like that you can put on there to? No, we can, we'll make e-collars for them sometimes. We take old x-ray film and cut a little halo and put it around their neck. And then all they do is they pick at that instead of picking at what you don't want to pick yeah. at, which is fine. Okay. But, um, but no, there's not like a yuck spray or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, you know, okay. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. Um, he says Brian, he wants to get um, a lot more medicine. Is that okay? Yeah. He didn't get it. Yep. So now we're going to have some toenail work. Pedicure. Mm, no, it's bad. 